Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 21 online CFM game. We are getting ready to officially kick off the 2023 season here in the Premier Madden League. It is season four, and our week one matchup will take place against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Our Detroit Lions made a lot of moves in the offseason, a number of contracts signed in free agency, five trades, and no move bigger than the move to get the number one overall pick in the NFL draft so we could acquire the Clemson quarterback, DJ Uwe to be the new face of the Detroit Lions. Were all of those moves worth it? We won't exactly find out in one game, but we'll get a good feel of what this squad looks like and if all of these crazy moves we made were worth it. We'll have the NFL debuts of the likes of Jordan Burge, Gavin Potter, and superstar X-Factor wide receiver Justin Shorter. And it all takes place against one of the most explosive offenses in the league. We are officially underway with the 2023 season here in the Premier Madden League. And Ty Chandler taking the opening kickoff out, making a move, and is eventually brought down at the 24-yard line. And stepping on the field is is DJ Uwe Angolale and what a play to start your NFL career it's a touchdown to Amonra St. Brown 76 yards immediate fireworks here in Detroit and right away the fans can see the potential of this new look offense and you can get a feel of why the Lions moved up in the draft so they could get Uwe Angolale but for now, let's focus on the defensive end. And part of that big trade that we made was losing one of our big playmakers on this side of the ball last season, Trey Flowers, who had the most sacks for the Detroit Lions. And on third down and 11, it would have been nice to have Trey Flowers in the field so we could prevent that play from happening. A first down to Travis Kelsey as Tyreek Hill makes the big play and is eventually tripped up by Michael Wright. Here's Clyde Edwards Alaire getting the ball. Bobby Wagner gets the tackle. Second down, Tyreek Hill in motion. He's got the ball. Tyreek. Tyreek is going to get the first down. Of course, when you play the Chiefs, you have to know where Tyreek Hill is at all times. This will be Edwards Alaire with the ball. Solid blocking, falling forward, and the Chiefs are making quick work of this Lions defense. Now they fake the sweep. They'll go to Edwards Alaire. Bobby Wagner still a force in the middle of the field, but a first down and goal nonetheless as the rookie Sanders gets the handoff. He moves the offense to the four. Sanders again trying to plow his way through. Big third down and goal. Edwards Alaire to running back who is in for six. The Chiefs with a quick answer to the one play touchdown delivered by the Detroit Lions. We might have a shootout on our hands today. Is the rookie up to the task? He got one big play, but what is he made of on a potential 10 play drive when the defense makes you work as we give it to John Emery. His first carry of the season will actually not be his first carry because there is a holding penalty on our new center, J.C. Treader. So now it's a first down and 18 against the three-man rush. DJ rolls the pocket, checks it down to the rookie Payne Durham, a minimal gain. Second down, DJ handles the snap, but can't make the pass to Kenny Galladay, who was open. Now it's third down and 16 after a couple of broken plays. DJ with a clean pocket, nothing really open, and he just has to throw the ball away, and that drive ends with what is going to be a three and out on paper, but you know, I felt that I was just bad execution all around. A missed pass, a holding penalty, so just sloppy play to start the season off, which can be expected as Edwards Alaire catches the edge, gets away from Walker. The Clydesdale nearly gets the touchdown. Still at the two yard line here, Sanders. Oh, Bobby Wagner is hitting hard right now. We need that kind of presence, but no one else is able to deliver big hits, and Edwards Alaire gets his second rushing touchdown down of the first quarter and now maybe reality is starting to hit in for our Detroit Lions who were an under 500 squad last season and we're just looking to pick up one win at a time there are no playoff aspirations there are no 
our Super Bowl aspirations right now. We got a very young roster. We just need to win games and play smart. We can't have turnovers like we had in our previous couple of seasons. We need DJ to deliver and Big Cinco on the money this time. Finding Galladay. Next play, that's Debo Samuel. Outside makes the catch and makes a spin move afterwards. Quickly to the 32-yard line. Here's DJ. He's just going to throw the ball away. Did not like what he saw. That'll be a simple incompletion as we go to John Emery. This will be his official, actually, second carry of the season and a solid gain of five yards as we start the second quarter with DJ downfield. Galladay! Not quite. Double, maybe triple coverage. And that's definitely a rookie mistake. Trying to read the coverage and we'll settle for the Tucker McCann field goal up and good. The passing game looks electric when we get the big plays. But like we said, is DJ going to be capable of putting together those long drives? Or is he going to run out of patience as we nearly get the pick on the bubble? Instead, it's going to be a big play for the Kansas City Chiefs offense with the Chiefs already sporting a four-point lead and their offense already playing very well. Can it continue? Yes, it shall. Tyreek Hill moves the field or moves the offense to the 32-yard line as Edwards Alaire has been busy in this first half. How about the rushing heavy attack that the Chiefs are putting together right now? This will be Sanders with the ball and Sanders will get the easy first down and the running game which is happening too easy as we try to focus on Hardman and Hill, the fastest wide receiver duo in the league. Now we got to focus on the running backs as well. Mahomes trying to make us pay, but that's going to be incomplete. The pressure put on. And now a third down and long. Mahomes, quick pass outside, but a nice open field tackle by Jeff Okuda. Now in his fourth season, that'll prevent the first down and bring up the field goal up and good by Harrison Bucker. So the first sign of resistance shown by our defense, but not much at that. So, you know, as much points as we could possibly score on the offensive end, and we're giving up points every time on the defense, event it truly doesn't matter we have to find balance on both sides of the ball and right now the offense is kind of stuck in the mud as well that's a loss of five yards a third down and six midway in the second quarter and that'll be the first catch for the rookie Justin Shorter easy first down John Emery on the carry Emery finding some success in the rushing attack so far but it's mostly been a pass heavy scheme for the Detroit Lions that continues Debo Samuel making the catch and getting the easy first down here's DJ dropping way back now going downfield and that's gonna be intercepted by Bernardrick McKinney and that one was just thrown up for grabs and this time we pay on a seam pass but we get it right back how about Will Harris that's right show off Will because that was a game-changing play how about the safety as the Chiefs were pinned at their own one yard line and Will Harris shot the gap so crisis averted there because we nearly gave the Chiefs the ball back to really extend their lead and continue their momentum. Instead, our offense gets a chance to rebound as we try to run a two-minute drill. Unfortunately, that's going to be incomplete. Third down, we're going to run the ball with John Emery, and Emery's going to get the easy first down and a whole lot more. Now, here's DJ looking to pass. Got to be more careful with the ball. This drive and finding Debo Samuel is not a bad idea right now. Debo is finding ways to get open potentially the forgotten man in this offense especially with the inclusion of Justin Shorter Debo is saying don't forget about me just yet timeout call by I believe yeah the Detroit Lions with a minute six left in the first half man in motion this will be a Monterey St. Brown on second down and five St. Brown trying to catch the edge can't make a man miss big third down upcoming DJ nine for 15 so far with 155 yards passing but what can he do when the team needs him most these are the money downs this is where we need DJ to make the plays read the field three man rush by the Kansas City Chiefs DJ down low it's Debo again with the defense is potentially focusing on a Monroe and Kenny Galladay. Debo's making his money right now. Speaking of Debo, there he is once again. He'll get out of bounds and stop the clock with 29 seconds left. Now it's going to be Emery on the run. Emery, he finds the edge and gets to the end zone. That'll be the first lead for our Detroit Lions since pretty much the first play of the game. We got that one play touchdown. And considering the way this game has gone so far, I think we can be okay with this halftime score because, you know, the execution hasn't really been there. 
and once we actually start clicking on all cylinders on both sides of the ball, then we could, you know, really make some hay in this game as Mahomes just throws it up for grabs. Hill tried to do all he could. It's going to be incomplete as Edwards Alaire, who has two touchdowns so far, not going to get a third one on this run. We'll see if the Chiefs try to get one more snap. And let's see, three, two, one. Mahomes holding, and he does get the ball here. He is going to drop back. Mahomes, watch out. It is he throws. Incomplete at the end of the day. So that'll take us to halftime and for the first time this season, the Halftime Show. Let's start off with the game of the week featuring the New England Patriots, the Super Bowl champions of season one in the CFM versus the Buffalo Bills, the now back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. This is a big battle in not only the AFC East, but the AFC in general in the entire league on opening night. The Buffalo Bills get a bang on the kick return, but the Patriots are resilient. They answer right back. They get the touchdown from the arm of Philippe Pay Franks as Jalen Hurd on the run down to the wire in the fourth quarter. The Bills get the lead right back, but this game was far from being decided. Franks middle. I see, I see with 238 remaining. Is that going to be the last score? Not quite because the Buffalo Bills march downfield only to settle for a field goal, which means the first game of the season goes to overtime. Philip Lindsay with the big fourth down conversion. Two plays later, Felipe Franks firing middle. Oh my, what a dime. Dazzling Daz Newsome for the win. Patriots get the big dub to start the season, setting the tempo in the division. Meanwhile, around the rest of the league, CJ Verdell, he's gonna burst for an 81 yard touchdown run. Right before the end of the first half, King Me, Desmond King with the interception off of our former quarterback, Drew Locke. He's now found a home on the Houston Texans, and he's going to do just fine being teammates with JV on PlayStation Hawkins. That's a big Texans victory. Now we go to a battle in the AFC North Division, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cleveland Browns. The Ravens are three-time winners of the AFC North, but the Browns are looking to flip the script this season. Look at the big ball! Swerving Lamar Pickens for six. Oh, baby. And later on, the Browns finding whoop Jarvis Landry. And it's going to be a Browns win on opening day in rainy Baltimore. Big decision there as we go to downfield. Allen Robinson. A Rob is still a beast, but the Minnesota Vikings are still dominators in the NFC. In fact, they are the defending NFC Conference champions. So, in their first game with that crown, they go to Justin Jefferson and win their season opener against the Chicago Bears. Now we move on to Todd Gurley and the Atlanta Falcons. Whoop! Oh, Todd Gurley had a monster day against the Dallas Cowboys. But as you guys see, the Cowboys are up big right now. Well, they were up big until this. What we can only assume was an accidental run commit. That's a tie ball game. Calvin Ridley sends it to overtime. And Calvin Ridley is going to end it in overtime. Ridley splits the middle and wins the game. Falcons from down 18 points win a wild one, 41 to 35. Here are the Los Angeles Rams who, remember, they formerly owned the number one overall pick. They traded away. And now they have the rookie Michael Penix Jr. at the the quarterback position Penix Jr. throwing the interception and then later on it's gonna be Kyler Murray to Christian Kirk the Cardinals win the home opener close game for a while but the Cardinals blow it open in the fourth quarter this was a surprisingly dominant Jets victory against the Eagles who won the NFC East division last season now here is very quickly Antonio Gibson and the Washington football team Washington gets a dominating victory and now we move to our final game of the halftime show remember the tip Tampa Bay Buccaneers win 16-0 last season. Well, they'll go 1-0 for now, defeating the Carolina Panthers 30-16. And now we go to the second half of Detroit Lions versus Kansas City Chiefs. Awkward looking score there, 17-19. Remember, we got the safety from Will Harris that, you know, really could be a difference maker in this game as we go on because 
And the magnitude of that play cannot be explained enough. And how about the sack from Aiden Hutchinson? We'll take that. Thank you very much. Third down and nine in an early timeout in the second half. Called by the Kansas City Chiefs. Trying to get the correct offensive play on the field. Tracy Walker is on fire. Mahomes is not. He's going to fire downfield. And it's going to be incomplete. Walker was in the area. Okuda with the swat. And a three and now out of the locker room from the Kansas City Chiefs. And now DJ Uwe Angale and the offense looking to clean up what was a sloppy first half and that's gonna start with a drop on first down as the pressure came in the face of the rookie quarterback Emery on second down John Emery when he does get these carries has been running well nine carries 63 yards we'll see if we go to that more in the second half in the meantime third down DJ rolls the pocket under pressure gets it off finding a monorous St. Brown for the first down the mobility of Big Cinco on display DJ next play dropping way back and Probably thankful that pass went out of bounds because that was risky. Second down, DJ holding. Got to let it go now. Oh! It looked like he and Amonra had a nice connection, but it's incomplete, unfortunately, for us. Now it's third down and long. The pressure in. DJ gets it off. Downfield. Oh, Amonra St. Brown again for the touchdown. This time the duo connect, and they get in for six. The Lions after the PAT up by nine points. You see the Chiefs' top draft pick, Brian Brees, also out of Clemson, was applying the heat, but our pass protection actually did a solid job of buying DJ enough time, and then the strong arm of Uwe Angole on display as he's able to quickly fire it that far downfield, and then, of course, the route-running ability of Amonra. That's what makes this offense so special and gives it the potential to be so explosive this season, mainly as long as we can limit the turnovers, limit some of the bad throws we had in the first half, just getting a bit too greedy. Defensive side of the ball, you know, we cannot let the Chiefs run the ball as easily as they are. I think at this point, we have to play to run more than we're playing the pass. Second down. This will be a check down. This will be close to a first down. How about Jeff Okuda with the big hit? Sticks him. Third down and two. Play clock winding down here as the Chiefs switch it up, and they're not going to get set up in time. That's a big delay of game penalty. Third down and two becomes third down and seven. They move to the 49-yard line. So Mahomes not quite aware of the play clock as we get the snap off this time around. Mahomes quick pass. Okuda's there again to make the open field tackle this time on Hardman and no huddle on fourth down and three Chiefs offense getting aggressive midway in the third quarter as Mahomes trying to switch things up and that's gonna be a timeout by the Detroit Lions to try to make sure they're in the correct defense if the Chiefs go for it which it looks like they still will Mahomes and the offense get the ball quick pass and it's nearly intercepted turnover on downs and that was the veteran Patrick Peterson with his big our first big play as a Detroit Lion as that's gonna be incomplete DJ a little bit scatter shot right now getting sacked by Chris Jones and all of a sudden it's third down and 15 Mahomes or sorry DJ gets the snap here he's gonna have time middle what a throw finding Kenny Galladay on the backside dig for the first down and that'll be another timeout call by the Kansas City Chiefs number two and with the Chiefs down nine points right now they'll really need those timeouts if things are shaping up the way they are or maybe it won't matter if our Lions could put together another touchdown drive second down here's DJ dropping back He's going to go. Corner of the end zone. Kenny Galladay. What a catch. It's the Galladay season for the first time in 2023. Uwe Angolale is spreading the love in Detroit. Two-point conversion to make it a 17-point game is not going to be good. Trying to hit up a Monroe St. Brown, and we weren't even close. But nonetheless, a 15-point lead, and now we're starting to hit our stride on both sides of the ball. Kind of sleepwalking through that first half of the game, but the Detroit Lions are starting to fully awake and realize their potential. Mahomes, at the end of the day, barely over 100 yards passing gonna get some yardage right there finding Travis Kelsey second down late third quarter Okuda is all over the field right now is that's a late hit that's not gonna be called Tyree gets the first down nonetheless oh Mahomes it is he throws as the Lions send the blitz as we have a screen pass here Sanders gets the ball but look at Will Harris sideline to sideline making the play tackle for loss will the Chiefs get the snap off at the end of the third quarter Mahomes gets him to the line quickly and they do get the snap off Mahomes oh try to thread the needle but Bobby Wagner who's been making plays all game gets the swat and now fourth down down 15 Chiefs feel the need to go for it here Mahomes in the shotgun gets the ball dropping back holding middle and it's gonna be incomplete turnover on downs once again a beautiful swat by Will Harris and the Detroit Lions are now in potential position to officially put this game away on this drive as we have I believe another holding penalty on a John Emery run so 
We haven't seen too much of Ty Chandler in this game. It's mainly been Emery since Emery's been doing a solid job so far. Emery on first down and now 17 gets a decent five yard run nearing a 100 yard rushing performance. DJ, oh my, he's done it again. This time it's Debo for the touchdown. Spread the love. Big Cinco. Kenny's got one. Amanura has got two. Debo joined the party. Why don't you? It's 39 to 17. And we're humming right now. We're firing on all cylinders. The Lions are up by 22 points and feeling good. And, you know, having one of our most successful games in a while. Even though it's not against, you know, the most successful opponent in the CFM. I, it's just good to see our Lions playing like this regardless. No matter who we play against. Because even, you know, in the games where, you know, you felt like you could have won. As Tracy Walker gets the interception. You know, we still, even in this game, right, didn't exactly put our foot on the gas from the start of the game and put together four beautiful quarters of football, right? And there's still some work to be done in that aspect, but, you know, I think <laughs> we're shaping enough to have a pretty solid season four right now. Whether it results in any sort of crazy postseason success or even a postseason birth, I don't know. But it's just, you know, we're going to take it one game at a time. And, you know, we did good this game. Next week, we'll focus on the Carolina Panthers, and we'll take it from there, right? As long as we're having fun. That's the most important thing to me, at least. That's unfortunately, we're not going to get this fourth down here. Um, I try to, you know, run the ball and be respectful, and, you know, that's definitely backfired as Mahomes gets brought down. And that's the first career sack of the rookie out of South Carolina, Jordan Birch. And all of a sudden, it's third down and 24, and Sanders gets the ball. And Bobby Wagner's not even going to let him get a gain of a couple. It's a loss of three. And the Chiefs punt the ball away. All right, now, I got to explain something to you guys. I'm sure a number of people have noticed it by now, right? Patrick Mahomes is star development. He's not a superstar. He's not an X Factor. And this is why. Uh, during last season in the Premier Madden League, there were new rules put in place as far as a regression system for superstar players and X-Factor players to regress in the league. If any player hits, you know, the thresholds to hit regression, even if they're a superstar X-Factor, they immediately get dropped to star. So Patrick Mahomes threw too many interceptions last season and thus he got dropped from superstar X-Factor to star, which ultimately at the end of the day helps limit the amount of, you know, superstars and X-Factors in the CFM so it's not too much. Now that we're in season four and, you know, late in the year, which happened last cycle, you know, of course, with our CFM with the Miami Dolphins, the amount of superstars and X-Factors, not only on our team, but league-wide, it was a crazy amount, right? So you want to make those kind of players feel special and not just, you know, one in a million. And this regression system helps do that. And this is actually a system that I was actually very passionate about helping for our league. So... You know, I, I really like, like, I think it was something that we needed. It helps put on a better product as far as, you know, the games as well. And um, one of the players that lost their abilities for us was uh, Matt Stafford. He wasn't even on the list, but Matt Stafford didn't lose his superstar abilities just because he didn't have enough snaps to put up stats. Also losing abilities for us was uh, D Ford, our former outside linebacker. D Ford, um, he's not even here anymore, partially because he lost his abilities, so... You know, that's what happened with that. And you also see Cam Newton lost his ability. So we actually killed two superstar quarterbacks in one season. Hopefully, we can build a superstar quarterback now with our number one pick, DJ Ui Angolay, as we are officially now 1-0 to start the new campaign, getting a 22-point victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. And after the hot start the Chiefs had on the offensive end, getting 17 points right off the bat, we held them scoreless ever since. So good adjustments made on both sides of the ball. And, you know, I feel like, you know, if we get starting out the gate better in some of these games, then, you know, we could really start putting up some impressive numbers, especially when we have to play some of the better teams in the league. Honestly, <laughs> I actually played this game. I literally woke up brush my teeth and play this game. So that might have been part of the reason why we started off this game slow. I don't know. Plus, you know, just trying to figure out our, our offense and our defensive system to start the new year could have also been a reason why, but... You know, not trying to make any excuses or anything like that. Definitely no excuses. We're just, you know, trying to trying to have some fun out here. Like I said, we did it. We did a good job of that. So, GGs to the Kansas City Chiefs. Hope you guys enjoyed the first game with the new look Detroit Lions. Subscribe for more Madden 21 gameplays, and I will catch you guys next time for next week's game against the Carolina Panthers. We'll see what kind of encore Big Cinco and the boys have.